story time. Let's get it. My encounter with a voodoo priest, and he gave me a voodoo doll of somebody I had disdain for before I even told him the story. You heard me? So I'm downtown in the French Quarter doing my little thing. You heard me? About to go pick up my little healing herbs, crystals, do what I do, right? I eventually get to the point over there where all the witches and the voodoo priests be doing their tarot card readings and everything. So I'm walking past one of them dudes, right? He like, yo, pop, come in, let me holler at you. So I go pose up on him, you hear me? He like, man, I felt your spirit, you hear me? Like, I feel like you're going through something. I got something for you to help you, baby. Now at the time, you know, I'm already kind of acquainted with how everything really go with the whole <laughs> magic system and the voodoo system because of my people being in it, right? So you just can't get involved and fuck with everybody that starts saying certain shit. Because sometimes niggas could be scamming and you don't know what they got going on. But me and him wound up actually having a real good conversation. And we really was able to get to some great points and make some well-rounded type of knowledge about each other. So me and him started smoking. And me and him eventually started getting to my conversation and my whole situation about what I got going on in the streets. So he like, man, look, I can help you out with that shit. I already know what you got going on, brother. Just holler at me, I get you right. And out the blue, he pull out a voodoo doll. So bam, he done handed me a whole voodoo doll, right? It's like the nigga looked at it exactly like the dude I had problems with and everything. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? How did you know that, bro? He like, man, I have been watching your spirit. I been seeing you in my dreams. I met you in a dream a couple nights ago. And I was supposed to meet you during a certain day, but you didn't show up. And I'm like, damn, because I was supposed to come down there in the French quarters like like two days or a day before I pulled up, actually. So he like, yeah, nigga, I really was expecting you. I had been waiting on you. Ready to make that decision? Man, I wound up keeping the voodoo dog. Me and him wound up exchanging information. We wound up talking and smoking again, right? But by this time, I didn't already reach the conclusion that... I ain't gonna fuck with it. I ain't gonna go that route because I feel like they ain't the route when you're really trying to handle something, you hear me? But I wound up keeping a dog, so you hear me? I'm about to go home, right? Man, I start heading to the crib, and when I tell you, nigga, all type of shit started happening. It's like red oars was following me. I would look in the rearview mirror and see these red oars. I would think it'd be the police lights, but it's like, what the hell? It's red oars. I know what I see. Man, I'm telling you, it started getting darker, too. And I wound up getting home, bruh. When I tell you one of the time I got home, I got to go leave the house, though. So I park. I go walk up the street to go holler at my little homie. Bruh, when I'm telling you, it feel like them shadows was following the nigga. Them shadows was following the nigga. You know how you walk it, and you just feel like it's a presence behind you. But when you look behind you, it, it ain't done no more. Listen, I'm telling you, just like that. And then on top of that, the owl. I always had this owl that stayed across the street from my house. So every time I get home, man, the owl be right in the goddamn tree just looking at a nigga every time, you heard me? And I'll see what you don't see. So I always felt like the owl was trying to give me a warning, like a sign, like there's a shadow behind you, boy. You better get that thing from off you, you hear me? Man, so you know I wound up having to get rid of the damn goddamn dog because I'm like, hold up, bro. Red orbs. You heard me? Shadows. I got to figure out what the hell going on. So I got to go highlight my auntie because she do the same thing, right? Now my auntie explained to me. She like, that's because when you ready to make that decision, that power that's right there ready to get dark with you is ready to make that shit happen for you. And it's either going to protect you or it's going to attack the person that you ready to get attacked for, you heard me? So you know my auntie got me right, like, you know, that's what come with that power, baby. But that's your power and your ancestors. You gotta be ready. They're ready to protect and they're ready to act. You just gotta make that type of choice on where your morals gonna stand on when you do certain shit, you hear me? So it ain't about it being evil or dark. But at the same time, I'm telling you, it get dark when you don't know what you're doing, baby. So for the next few days, nigga, every time I would walk home from the park, it's like them shadow motherfuckers would be right behind me. And I had to deal with that shit for at least 90 days, you hear me? 
that's when it's about to start getting even more deeper, baby. Yeah, it get real like that for real, y'all. I tell a lot of people, man, it's nothing to play with, right? But at the same time, you have to understand, this is like the typical story. This is the typical story. I hear this story all the time from anybody who says that they were going through some things, and all of a sudden you have somebody to pop out the blue and give them a solution to whatever it is that they're going through. So I tell a lot of people to be cautious because, you know, you have a choice to make in that moment. You know, are you going to stand on the right side of things? Are you going to, you know, take sides with the darkness? Because in some cases, that be taking sides with the darkness. Now, in some cases, it could be a blessing, but in others, it be you taking time with the darkness. But I did want to touch on the owl, y'all. The owl is a symbolism of protection in that moment, and I took it for protection. Now, it does mean a lot of other things like wisdom, and it's, it could stand for mystery as well, but when you see an owl in a situation like what he has going on, I would say it was a form of protection around him at that time, but also it was like almost a warning to him to see things beyond what it is, you know, that he's seeing them from in terms of like just a regular beat. See beyond that, you know, after you've done this, then what's going to come from it. But with that being said, y'all let me know y'all think about this in the uh, comment section below. I love to know, man, because, hey, I'm pretty sure some of y'all had the same experience out here. And if you did, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. And um, I just want to let you guys know to get over there and follow me on YouTube at I Am Awakened. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I Am Awakened underscore Chosen One. And I just want to leave you as I came. I want you guys to always, always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family. Peace meaning positive energy always creates elevation. Ashe.